Edgar Allan Poe lived from 1809 to 1849, and he was one of the most famous American writers, poets, editors, and literary critics in history. Poe is well known for his poetry and short stories, which included tales of mystery and macabre. Many consider him to be the inventor of the detective fiction genre and credit him as a major contributor to the science fiction genre, which was beginning to emerge during his time. Poe's parents both died when he was a child, and he was taken in by John and Francis Allen of Richmond, Virginia. He was never formally adopted by the Allens, but lived with them into his young adulthood. Poe attended the University of Virginia, but had to leave after one year because he could not afford the cost of the education. He then enlisted in the United States Army in 1827, and then later failed as an officer cadet at West Point, claiming his goals to be a poet and writer was what his destiny really was. His writing career started in 1827, when his anonymous poetry collection called Tamburlaine and Other Poems was published. It was credited simply to a Bostonian. Poe spent several years working for literary journals and periodicals and gained a reputation for his own style of literary criticism. During this time of his career, he moved to several cities including Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. In 1836, he married his 13-year-old first cousin, Virginia Clem, but she died of tuberculosis in 1847. In January 1845, Poe's notoriety increased as his poem, The Raven, quickly became famous. He planned for years to produce his own journal called The Pen, later named The Stylus, but before it could be produced, he died in Baltimore on October 7, 1849, at the age of 40. The cause of his death is unknown and has been variously attributed to disease, alcoholism, substance abuse, suicide, and even some macabre causes. Poe reportedly kept saying Reynolds on his deathbed as he was apparently delirious, but nobody knows what that ever meant. Many aspects of his life and his untimely death are as mysterious as many of his writings. The Poe Museum began over 100 years ago when Edgar Allan Poe collector and researcher James Howard Witte and a group of literary enthusiasts met in Richmond, Virginia to create the state's first monument to a writer. In 1916, the house in Richmond, Virginia where Poe lived was demolished. However, Witte salvaged the building materials to reconstruct them elsewhere. Richmond's oldest house, which was called the Old Stone House, was a fitting location for a Poe Memorial Garden. Later, the house was repurposed to display Whitty's Poe collection alongside pieces donated by Poe relatives and other collectors. By the end of the decade, the museum had already outgrown its original building and expanded into three adjoining structures. The third of these, the Elizabeth Arnold Poe Memorial Building, was constructed using a staircase taken from one of Poe's boyhood homes. The Poe's Museum collection is now the largest public collection of Poe memorabilia and artifacts anywhere in the world.